This is a Mazda 2016 CX-5 all-wheel drive. Voltmeter. So on a voltmeter, uh, on an auto, you always want to test in DC volts. You can see the line difference, a squiggly line. That would be AC volts, which it shows you as AC volts there. So you want to be on DC volts. And usually 20 is the right measure. It's just a step up in what the reading is going to be. So for this, locating the battery, positive terminal, negative terminal. This car wouldn't run this morning, wouldn't start. It was cold last night, so the question is, is it a dead battery or not? Uh, charge the battery, and so now testing the voltage, easiest way to do that is take your red, put it on the positive terminal, black on the negative terminal, and we're reading 12.76 volts, which is good voltage for a battery. Anything above 12 should be fine. So the question is then, is it charging correctly? And is there enough uh, starting amps, cranking amps? So the way that we test that is we'll put these in the posts so we get our reading. And then I'm gonna start the car and while the car is cranking, what we hope to see is that this voltage doesn't drop below 10 amps, or 10 volts, actually, sorry. It went to 8.6. Now what we're reading is the charging voltage. So this is showing the uh, what the alternator is supplying. Ooh. And usually above 13, closer to 14 is fine. So let's compare that to a car that we know has a good battery. Okay, so this is a 2011 Toyota Sienna. Uh, you can see this battery was replaced. I always like to label the batteries when they're replaced. January 22nd, 2017. It's got a five-year warranty from AutoZone. Woohoo, go AutoZone. Okay, so this one we're going to test the voltage. And we're above 12, so that's 12.35, so that's good. So I'm going to place these on here, and then we're going to see what the difference is when I start this vehicle with a good battery and what I would expect to see is that when we start this vehicle that voltage shouldn't drop below 10. You're right. Okay, so 10.6, so this has good cranking power. So if you do that comparison and as you can see now that's our uh, alternator charging, so that's fine. It's above the 13.5, closer to 14. Uh, so when you compare these two, that would indicate that while that car may have held the charge, it doesn't have enough power to crank, so my assumption is it's a bad battery. Okay, so now that we've determined that the battery uh, doesn't have enough cold cranking amps, we're going to replace it. So to do that, uh, easy it's going to be a 10 millimeter socket. I like to use an extension and then may need the screwdriver if we're going to have to spread the taps on the uh, battery cables. So first things always take battery cables off. You should just have to loosen it up a little bit. It should come off. Tuck them out of the way. Here's the positive. That bolt is a 12 millimeter. Why oh, that's so tight? Look, oh, I see, you see that? Go. Look at that, it arced over. Oh yeah. And it's blocking that. That's why that won't come off. Spread the battery a little bit. So more. maybe, so I'm gonna spread that more with a bigger screwdriver. The posts I think are still lead, so they're pretty soft. Get us enough space to clear it. There it there comes. Go. So you can see where that arced. Interesting. Ooh. Back to our 10 millimeter. There's two retaining bolts. This keeps the battery from moving around when you drive. So that's the hold down clamp. Looks like this one has some kind of nice cover. Sonic. <laughs> Here's the new battery. Um, 
This is a Duralast Gold 640 cold cranking amps, uh, which should be fine. When I took the old battery up to the uh, auto parts store, they did confirm that it was a bad battery. So first thing we're gonna do is just drop it in, making sure we don't hit any wires along the way. Okay, so that's back around the battery. Okay, next will be the hold down clamps. This bar sits across there like that. <clears throat> These small hooks go underneath. So we'll hook it under. The next one. You don't have to over tighten these <clears throat> to make sure they don't move. Okay, we're gonna, that's tight, we're gonna put that back down. And now we're gonna test the voltage. Okay, new battery is installed. This is our regular voltage, 12.47. Uh, so now we're going to start the car and hopefully we won't see that drop as much as it did the last time. <clears throat> 